Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're gonna to be doing a very cheap, simple, off-grid water system that is portable and you can run off of pretty much any 12 volt vehicle. Now I live in a community where we have to haul around water and I had a friend that just built a tiny home down there and he wanted a way that he could use this existing 55 gallon water barrel that he has um, to be able to pressurize it and pump that up to his garden or spray off his truck or pump the water into his uh, holding tank for his house, etc. and so I went on Amazon uh, for about 250 bucks worth of parts. I threw this together for him and uh, I'll put a link to all the parts that I ordered in the description below in case you guys want to do something similar. Now I was going to uh, basically install the water barrel into his truck, into the bed of his pickup, and then wire in the pump and uh, make a nice hose retractable system and all this other stuff uh, so that it was an install uh, that I was going to do for this video. But it turns out he just wanted everything to remain separate and portable and easy to take in and out of the truck, all in separate components. So that's what we ended up doing. This will be a very simple, uh, just short video where I show you how I set it up. It's not gonna be a step-by-step -step necessarily, but you'll get, get, get the idea pretty well of how this all goes together. And hopefully this will help you out because this could be used for, um, you know, a, a RV situation, truck situation, off-grid situation, cabin situation, whatever you wanna do. The principles are very, very easy. And this works really, really well. We, I was really happy with the way it all turned out. So without further ado, why don't I just show you exactly what we did. Okay, everybody, so what we're gonna need for this uh, project for materials, we already had the 55 gallon water barrel and it had a garden nozzle attachment or a faucet attachment that was direct threaded into the bottom of the barrel. So we just used that and then the parts that I had to purchase and put this together, starting at the faucet was a four foot length of female to female drinking water rated hose. That's gonna go into the water pump. Now the water pump is 12 volts rated for 30 amps and it has an automatic shut off at 70 PSI. If you're connecting this to a garden hose, you're also gonna need two small adapters. It's gonna be three quarter inch hose to I believe a half inch uh, NMPT uh, size female on the other side. I'll put links in the description below in case you need to pick those up. I used brass, but the ones I have linked down below are plastic. Now after the water pump, you're gonna have 100 feet of water safe drinking uh, flexilla hose there. And um, then at the very end of that 100 foot hose, we are gonna have an adjustable spray garden nozzle so we can shut off the water at the end of the hose and the pump will pressure up and turn off automatically. Now you're gonna need enough wire to go from the pump to your battery or 12 volt source. Now, since this is a 12 volt, 30 amp rated water pump, the correct gauge wire for that is gonna be tw uh, 10 AWG gauge wire with a nice sturdy um, shielding jacket on it, insulation on it, so that uh, it can get beat up a little bit and be exposed to the sun and et cetera. Um, and you're also gonna need watertight connections uh, to connect these wires to the pump so you don't have leaks since we are dealing with a water-based system. Now, I didn't have the wire in yet, it was on order, but it just kept getting delayed. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just using speaker wire that I had in my basement, you will have to put a 30 amp fuse and the correct gauge wire to the rating of your water pump. So that being said, let's check this thing out. Okay, let me just show you guys, we have a 55 gallon water drum here. Fill it from the top. It does have a spigot that was already on there. We have Flexilla. Uh, this is a four foot hose that runs from there over to this little 12 volt water pump. This goes to 70 PSI. It came with a little wire mesh screen. You're gonna have to get an adapter so it fits under a garden hose. So you're gonna want female to male. So you can attach that garden hose. This, this hose, by the way, is female to female. And then over on this side, the same adapter, uh, female to male. And then I put on thread tape, screw that on tight so that it fits under this garden hose. And that goes over here to this 100 feet Flexilla, and this is all water grade garden hose, so you can use this for drinking water. It's not gonna have that rubbery, uh, you know, taste to it and all that good stuff. And then we have just a little, you know, shower nozzle on there, sprinkler nozzle. And then uh, let's go ahead and plug it in and I'll show you how it works. Basically, we just hooked this up to some wire that I had temporarily to demonstrate, but uh, put about 10 feet on here. And so what we're gonna do is, if we can get this untangled. Okay, let's take this guy, and I've got a little solar connector on here, so it just plugs in. Drop that, walk around here. This is my buddy's truck. 
We've got our little connections here on the battery, positive, negative. We've got our fuse in place and then a little solar connector. Um, you know, so our positive wire is kind of protected. We put a cap on that as well. And then we're just gonna hook those up to power up the pump. All right, and the pump is on. And the pump's already pressured up, so it's got an automatic PSI switch on it at 70 that's gonna stop it. But when we actually use some water here, there we go. And it's got really good pressure. I mean, that's plenty to like water, whatever you need to. And when you turn it off, the pump's gonna pressure back up and stop. And so you could, uh, you know, run your hose wherever you want. You don't have to worry about it running all the time. And then only when you use water, There you go. Very, very simple off-grid water setup, 55 gallons. Now you can water your garden or spray off your truck or fill up your tanks on the house, anything that you need to do, and you're good to go. Well, there you go, guys. He's absolutely loving it. It's very easy for him to take in and out of his truck, disassemble, reassemble any way he wants. You could, of course, you know, take in the water pump and attach it to the water barrel or to the truck itself with a little water cover. You could have run the electrical through the truck itself with quick connects or off on switches, whatever you want to do. But I think this is a really simple way to show you guys how this works and how it's usually set up. Just make sure that you always use a fuse right next to the battery that's rated for the wiring that you're using in your application. That's important. Even if you use the alligator clips that attach to the battery terminals, um, just make sure you always have a fuse in there. That's important. All of these items will be listed in the description below so you guys can pick them up on Amazon if you so choose to do something similar. And I think that about does it. So until the next video, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. Please like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching everybody and happy camping.